Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today's date is May 5th, 2023. I want to take a look at the DAW versus Yen after the U.S. jobs report. So let's take a look. Looking at the hourly chart to start things off, the uh, price uh, action after the jobs report took the price near the from near the 50% retracement. That's of the move up from this April low to this may high okay so the range since the beginning beginning of april that 50 percent came in at 134 177 that's where the market was centered around before the jobs report and what do we see we saw a sharp move to the upside after higher than expected non-farm payroll lower unemployment higher wages push the uh, dollar to the upside but where do we stall we stalled right near the 50 percent retracement of the or the 38.2 percent retracement of that um, move uh, to the um, uh, the April to May range. We also stalled right near the 200 hour moving average. That's a green line in this chart. And also this swing area right here. What is this a swing area? Well, if I go to the four hour chart and look back in time and go back to way back here where the price uh, highs were starting to be made right here, we found a ceiling and then we broke above that ceiling. And then we made a floor here and then we uh, broke below that floor and we started to make a ceiling again right through here, here. Uh, then we broke above that level and tried to uh, f uh, stall a fall here in uh, trading this week before rotating back to the downside. And what do we do? We come right back to that level, this area right here, and we find sellers leaning against that level. Why? Because risk can be defined and risk can be limited against this area between 135.13 and 135.36. So sellers came in and uh, have pushed the uh, price out modestly lower off of that high. So um, so what, what does this all uh, say? Well, it says that we have a resistance right here. If the price starts to move above the 200-hour moving average, then look for uh, the next target to be the 36 level, and then look toward the 100-hour moving average. That's a blue line in this chart, uh, and we'll probably have some difficulty at that level as well at 135.65. That's the hope there. If you if you don't like the dollar, if you think that uh, the move to the upside is uh, run its course, that the, uh, the you know there was big revisions to the number, that um, the uh, you know we still have the banking concerns and all that other stuff, and really the whole picture is all messed up and and it's not going to be easy. So you just sell high and buy low then uh, lean against the 200-hour uh, moving average and uh, look for further pressure to the downside, perhaps toward, back toward where we started, the 50% retracement at 134.177. So the choice is yours, but what we know is that the technicals um, seem to be doing their job um, at least uh, against this uh, key swing area and the 200-hour moving average, and we'll see uh, if the uh, buyers uh, uh, that we've seen here today and push through those levels and move the bias back to the upside by continuing its move toward the 100 hour moving average. If it gets above that level, then we start to go the other way. My name is Greg Michalowski. I hope this helped. My uh, good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.